Hi, this is Nicola Thier from uh, the DS campus in Providence, Rhode Island. So what do we have? We have SOLIDWORKS, very easy, fast uh, CAD software, and Abacus, uh, the best FES software in the world. So what if we combine the ease of use of SOLIDWORKS with the power of Abacus simulation? Well, we actually get a new product called Structural Analysis Engineer. So I'm going to show you on a simple example, a buckle clip, how to insert and snap through those two components. Well, might look easy and simple, but it's not. It involves contact, large deformation, and spring back. So those are highly nonlinear effects. So let's take a look. So this is SOLIDWORKS 2015, and here we've designed this uh, buckle clip assembly in SOLIDWORKS. This is a 3D experience platform, and we're importing the assembly into the platform. So it's easy. Here's the assembly. Now we're creating a simulation model. So we're accessing uh, the material from the database. Now we create a simulation scenario. We choose structural. And you see in the model, we have the geometry, the mesh, and the material. In the scenario, we have loads, interactions, and boundary conditions. In the result, we have 3D plots, history plots, and sensors. Now we're setting up the abacus step. We can have different steps for sequential loading. Now we're going to set up the contacts. So friction can be high as the abacus contact is very robust. Now we're defining the general contact. It's automatic, so it will detect all of the surfaces that touch each other for me. That's it. We're going to simulate and click on simulate button. Can run abacus on up to eight cores. And in five minutes, we'll get the results. It's very fast. We can visualize animation different types of results, stress, displacement, etc. The buckle is too stiff, so let's redesign it. Now we are back to SOLIDWORKS and we want to study a different design. We want a thinner arm on the buckle and we want to look at how it behaves in terms of stress and displacement. So, back to 3Experience, we have an update button that detected the change and will automatically update the model for us. The mesh and the simulation model, load, boundary conditions, etc., get automatically updated. Now we rerun again and we look at the results again. So now if we look at the two different designs, we can see that we reduced the stiffness while we respected the allowable stress. Visit us to learn more at 3ds.com/simulia and watch for coming videos. Thank you.